Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the grand finals of MLG Columbus here, the Gears War Pro Circuit Fallout. Join with Guy Blaze, and it is a pleasure, it is an honor, and most importantly, it's amazing to have Optic Gaming versus Envy in our grand finals, a rivalry that goes yes. back two and a half years to Hypestation days. No, no, it, it's definitely the rivalry here in Gears, a story that we always talk about, and I always see these teams go at it, and uh, so far here on land, you know, we've seen Optic Gaming, these guys fought once, once already today, and uh, Optic Gaming came out 2-0 in that fight, and it was just like, it was just defining. No pushback there from Envious, so we're going to see what Envious coming off a hot win against Body Empire, a hard-fought win at that. Uh, can that be the extra juice that they need to beat Optic Gaming? Yeah, I heard you and Benson doing some speculating there, and you're right. They got ha right out dominated by Optic Gaming early on. This squad is looking so good, explosive. The shot color of this team is just a savage. We had probably the best listen in, I think, in esports history with the Green Wall shout out, the Alex Ascension shout out. It has been an unbelievable event so far, but on the other side, Team Envious, the boys in blue, they have been warming up. They're on fire right now. If they play the way they did against Enix, a team that they 7 one 7 would if they play the way they just did against a bot when they started heating up a little bit, I think we'll have a good grand finals in our hands. You know, I, you know, I agree with you, and uh, I think that's what we all want. We want a good grand finals. Uh, I can't remember the last time. Well, it would have been uh, Gears of War UE and Columbus yep. and, uh, when uh, Optic Gaming and Envious went the, 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 the distance. They went 3-2 to two here. Uh, it's been a while since we saw a good fight like that. And we saw them go to distance 3-2 to two, uh, at uh, the ESL finals in Season 1 as well. Yep. But now we haven't seen too many reverse sweeps because usually Envious will be in the lead against Optic and Opt Optic will come back, reverse sweep them, make it a match, you know, make it a good show. But now they just don't, they don't do that no yeah, more. Yeah, you're right. That's it's, why it's all business. They come out and just dominate them. That's so true. Hence why the hashtag Envy Choke thing started in the Gears community. We'll see if Envy can lock this one up. But you're right, Blaze. S a season 1 finals of the Gears War Pro Circuit in Ultimate Edition. Season 2 finals. That's when uh, Optic was playing under the Denial tag. Season uh, MLG Columbus in July. And then, of course, the Invitational last month. The last four Four events have had an Optic versus Envy final, and here for the fifth time in the last year, it's going to happen again. It has been an unbelievable event. Big shout out. I, can, I cannot say it enough to the Coalition. Pez Radar is in the audience. Jack Felling, of course, the esports producer at the Coalition, and then, of course, Xbox and Duracell for being a tremendous supporter of Gears of War Esports, making the dream possible. And so I get a lot of slack every time I say that, you know, the, the tournaments that Team Envious won, uh, it was always an asterisk next to all of them. Uh, and the, the reason why I say that is because you have the MLG event and uh, the Haifa Station one with Envious won. They won a first event there. Uh, you didn't see that that Optic roster that we have now. You didn't see that, that roster at full force. They were missing a player. Then the last time at the Season 2 Finals, they were missing a player. Yep. And uh, but all the events where they had their full roster, it's been nothing but but optic the entire time. That's so true. I would agree with that. Complete asterisk on the one, the one envious win. Of course, optic playing with their coach. You just saw people are leaving. Don't worry, <laughs> don't worry. People are getting hyped. People are getting ready for optic to walk out. Man, I know a lot of optic fans. Not only in the chat. Let me hear the green wall hashtag in the chat yes. if you guys are an optic fan. But a lot of optic fans here live at the venue. We have so many people that came out to spectate. I, I mean, I met a guy Rick from uh, from Indiana that drove four and a half hours of the sun to be Indiana here. Indiana Awesome people. Indiana shot my man Blaze. But without further ado, let's kick it over to my man Farouk for team intros of the grand finals. We are live in Columbus, Ohio for the Gears Pro Circuit Grand Finals. And now coming to the stage, the number three ranked team. They are resilient and battle tested. They are on a mission. It's India! Through preparation, there is not a situation they are not ready for. And rarely do they make the same mistake twice.
winning multiple titles in multiple games. Ribs bringing an important communication factor to his team. Widely known for revolutionizing the movement system in gears, Toy is here to continue to show why he's one of the most skilled players in the game. The veteran captain and only current player in Gears Pro Circuit to achieve top three in every Gears of War title. After winning a championship last year, Solars comes to back to Gears after a long hiatus with a lot on the line. And praise, they say this is the return of the king, known as one of the best slayers in the game. And their opponents on the red side they are the defending champions, the number one ranked team in Gears. It's Optic Gaming! A roster of all around players. Any player at any time can lead this team to victory. From Virginia, Captain Lava's won several championships despite starting later than most other pros with Gears 3. The team's flex player, Kenny, is the most experienced member of the team. Captain Clutch, insane sniping accuracy and power weapon play, that's mental. Born on the Gears of War 2 underground scene, the newest member of the team and key support player, Summons. Explosive from Cali, recognizes one of the best Gears of War players and isn't afraid to remind the other team exactly how good he is. All right, gentlemen, this is it, the grand finals. You guys have been here plenty of times before. I'm gonna start over here with you, franchise. Now, you guys have played three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back matches. How are you guys feeling? How's your endurance? Are you hungry? What's happening? Now, we're just hungry for this win. It doesn't matter. We, everyone's been playing a lot of matches. It is what it is. We just gotta play aggressive, and that's it. Now, you lost to Optic. You dropped that first map against Bot. How's your confidence going into this grand finals? I mean, we brought it back. We were in the same situation at the Invitational. I told the guys, hey, we've done this before. We just gotta make sure we play aggressive against these guys uh, in this finals. And now one last question. These guys got a legacy. They had a number one ranked team. How you feel about that? We've done it before. We'll take that away. All right, Explosive. You guys have been here before. How do you avoid overlooking them after routing them there in that, in that in a fi winner bracket finals? You know, before I answer that question, I have to do this for the green wall real quick. <laughs> All right, what was that? A little selfie action. How do you guys not overlook these guys here after routing them in the winner's bracket finals? We give 110% every round, every match. Now, you guys made quick work closing them out. You know, what will you do now to finish this thing and make sure that OG stays on top. Nothing new, really. We just play our game and get the win. Looks like it's gonna be that simple. Gentlemen, shake hands. Envious, Optic Gaming, lock it up! <laughs> Thank you so much, Farouk, and man, explosive. A little bit of a sav right there, pulling this inner Kanye out, taking the selfie for the green wall, and there you have it, the roster on your screen from left to right, Optic Gaming, explosive. The shot caller for this team summons, a.k.a. Alex, then Kenny, Lava, and Mental, the Savage himself. And then, of course, Team Envious from left to right. Solars, Ribs, Franchise, the captain of this squad, Toy Soldier, the Beast, and Praised, the return of the King, his first time competing in Gears of War 4. You know, uh, you see those guys walking out together. You know, you finally get to see the green wall in motion right there uh, in total unison. And it really shows a lot about these guys. It would have been nice if they actually had green jerseys. You know, you know? 
You know, just I'm gonna plant that seed out there in case anybody here. I, I don't think you might hold on real quick. I don't think you mess with the white championship Sunday jerseys without the game, man. There's a lot of pride there. There's a lot of pride there. But uh, hey, and they they haven't lost with them on, so that's true. That's true. Maybe it's the good luck charm that they need. I know that that white championship Sunday jersey has done them well in many games, not only Gears of War, Call of Duty, of course, and Halo now as well. So Optic Gaming, I man, this squad is known as a team that is not afraid to let you know how good they really are. I mean, you heard him for Farouk said in the intros. Explosive streaming is one of the most entertaining things to watch. No, it really is. You know, you, you gotta just help to love that guy, uh, and you know so going for it here, both these guys and these six-man teams here, because uh, these coaches do a lot for them. You know, Ashes does a lot for them. Ryan does a lot for these guys. Uh, it's going to be an intense matchup here. You know, we're going to see if Envious, they have that extra juice to, to come here and contend against Optic Gaming. As I said before, they just got to come out of here and have fun. Okay, yep. I'm pretty sure Envious has a thousand notes against Optic Gaming, uh, where they've just prepared over and over and over for these guys. And, you know, when something doesn't go wrong, they can kind of get down on themselves about it. They just need to have fun. When Toy has fun, he is he just destroys people when when praise has fun he just destroys people um they need to not take it so serious, but I'm pretty sure uh, we're going to see that, that classic envious. Yeah, no, I think you're right. You heard Franchise say it in the interview. We need to be aggressive. That's not a word that Franchise has used to describe his team's gameplay in any other Gears title. Going back to Gears 1, he's always been a very passive, very calculated, very methodical type of captain, but he's adjusted well. The pickup of Solars, I think, will fare them well in this matchup. Pound for pound, it's going to be close. I think Optic Gaming still has the edge in them, without a doubt, in individual skill. But hey, Team Envious, their team firing, their rotations, and I think their communication really is the advantage they have over Optic. Yeah. Yeah, so far we haven't seen that gap closed uh, really much at all, to be honest with you, John. Uh, you know, even with the pickup, the pickup was a good pickup, solid pickup. You know, they've dominated, every dominated everybody else, but, you know, so far, uh, Optic is still Optic. Yeah. And, you know, going for, like I said, this matchup is going to tell it all, okay? No, you're right. I can, Blaze, uh, I just have to take a moment. I can't believe we're here right now in this moment. Every single one of you in the chat, Gears fans, new or old, it is unbelievable. We've been doing this for so many years, years. and the fact that we have an opportunity to do this now on a big stage, $300,000 on the line means the absolute world. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in. It's been an unbelievable ride so far, and this Trivia. is just the beginning, man. Last time we was in MLG Columbus, you know who won? Uh, yeah, 2009, that was NBN. NBN? Envious NBN. My former team. No, it wasn't. Okay, it wasn't. At the time, it wasn't. It was regular. It was regular MVM. The then they got picked up by MVM. Regular first, MVM. first time. The original MVM squad. You know. Okay. Um, no, there I you go. You. I like the envious MVM. No way. Oh yeah, you're right. Ambition. That was the most hype match, man. Good times. You know why we lost to you? Because I beat. Oh, I won a clutch one v two on, on trenches. Uh, Kenny choked. Kenny choked. Oh yeah, you're right. I think Kenny, Kenny was the final one v one. Now that I think about it, yeah. it's Kenny, Kenny. Kenny choked that former fight. Former teammate. Yeah, and we got reverse swept. I love it. That's too funny, man. Throwing some trivia, some knowledge here in the championship side. I like that. Stick to your roots, man. I mean, we got a lot of new fans here, but hey, this is not the beginning. We've been doing this for 10 years, man. Gears back in the day, 2006 to 2009, MLG, and we took a little hiatus, and now we are back. And guys, this is just the beginning. I mean, if you guys are tuning in for the first time, it, it's so hype. It's so much fun to watch. This is the first, the inaugural Gears War 4 Pro Circuit event at Columbus. We'll be in London in July, Mexico City in January, followed by Paris, Columbus again, Las Vegas, and a little surprise. In in July? I said July, I'm saying December. December. You can't go. think right now, apparently. <laughs> lot, too, too excited. January, Paris in February, yeah. Yep, too excited, man. A lot, lot of fun times to come. I see the crowd. Oh, my gosh, this crowd is unbelievable. I was out there chilling with y'all. I really messed with y'all. Real quick, MLG Columbus crowd, let me hear it if you're having a good time right now. And if you're at home having a good time, blow it up in the chat. Who do you guys want to want, want to win right here? The boys in blue or Optic Gaming, the green wall. Let us know at home. Uh, who you guys are rooting for out there? Let me get those hashtags. I love it. I love it. Blow it up in the chat like Blaze said, because we are kicking off the grand finals here. Optic Gaming, Team Envious, let me hear it. All right. They did to beat them, and now they're going to try to counter them again. Well said, Blaze. Envious playing as the blue team, the COD team, with those skins that literally look like their Team Envious skins with how beautiful they are and how well they match the Envy logo. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, on board with Kenny. He's going to get taken out. There he is. It is Toy Soldier drawing first blood again, exactly what we saw last series. And so Toy picking up another kill. You're going to have Lava. Lava and Summons both go down. Team Envious is on the aggression here. You're going to have Toy and Praise both picking up kills. Cribs taking out another kill as well. And they are already on the pursuit. Both home hills being taken. The domination posse coming in ribs shoddy out he's looking to probably pick up a kill here and kenny is trying to hold his team into the game i think ribs probably could have held off a little bit longer there before he died and uh optic will regain control over their home hill for now unless praise has something to say about it and praise is gonna get shut down by mental the man that i called out 
to go big here. Can he do it? Mental, who typically has ice in his veins. Toy Soldier's gonna go down here. And, uh, and you know, I wanna say that Team Envious would've won that round if Ribs didn't head down all the way over there towards the home hill. And he would've just stopped and landed. Ooh, Soldier's being sneaky there behind the pillar. Summons is gonna completely ignore him. And Alex is gonna take out Franchise. He turns around, he ignored, he ignored it because he knew he had a teammate there to handle it. But no, Solars handles Mental on the 1v1. Optic usually trusts their teammates to win every single 1v1 against a player like Solars, a former member of Optic Gaming. It's going to be tough. No, I definitely agree with you, Fallout. And uh, Toy is going to be very, very patient right here, knowing that he is going to be uh, by himself here in his push. So he's going to wait till some teammates get here. And you're going to see Team Envious. They do have the two cap control on both home hills, but Optic Gaming uh, will break that C hill and get control over, the, over their home hill and control two of these points. And so Optic with the push in the middle. Can Toy hold off? Can he save his teammate franchise? Here's the flank down to both ramps. And you're going to see Explosive actually pick up two kills here. Here we go. On board with Explosive now. Two kills to his name. He's starting to heat up a little bit. Down by 50 points as Optic Gaming. They're going to hold the double cap. That double cap will be enough. Mental takes out Ribs. And now Optic has a 5v4 opportunity on board with Solars. So now Solars is going to be holding back here in his man. You know, you always see Optic's opening push here. Uh, it's usually, you know, kind of hard to beat Lava here towards his middle. You have to prevent him from getting any type of frag grenades or position on your team. Optic right here. They're going to be down here about a good 40 or so points. Trying to make sure they secure this B heal. The mathematically, Blaze, the two cap will be enough for Optic. So it's going to be Envious with the ball in their court having to make a decision here. And how do you think they should do it? Do you think the up top push for home is the best? Uh, just yet, yeah, that's exactly what it's going to be. They need to push for both home heals here. Uh, franchise taking a lot of damage, has to back up. Mental goes down here. No help. It's going to be a 2v1 situation. You know, uh, whoever this is needs a little bit of help. I think it may be explosive. Needs some extra help from his teammates here. Expect Optic now to fly to the away hill. They have to do it. They need to get the three cap here. So Optic, desperation time in this round. And Fraze realizes that he looks like he's going to rotate. But Solars handles the 1v against Kenny. Solars takes out Mental as well. So a double kill for Solars. But Franchise did die at home. All they need is the one cap. It's going to come down to this. Three, two, one second for Envious, and they are going to win round number one. Team Envious coming out with a lot of these close rounds, and they're going to break ice here once again and uh, take round number one. So I think Optic should understand that this is a good position for them uh, just because the simple fact is that they can block something that they know Envious is going to, uh, you know, put there for them. Yep. And that's the tone of the game. Indeed they can. It's going to be a retro Lancer that is placed by Explosive. A little bit cheeky, and let's jump into a listen in with Team Envious to see what's working so well for this team. Do, do, what, do whatever you guys gotta do. Side, side, side. Whatever, sure. whatever. Do whatever you guys gotta do. I'm, I'm coming middle with you guys. I'm shooting for you guys. Yeah, so both of you can push down. Both of you can push down. Yeah, we have yeah, two. We have one, two. one, one, one. Two guys. Lava, 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 two guys. Two guys. Taking it, taking it. Summon's a little hurt. Summon's hurt. Cut. I'm five by one cut. I got him down. Remember they have retro. He's close. He's close. Yo, I'm going by the retro. I'm going by the retro. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. One shot. One shot. One shot. One shot. One shot. He can't move. He can't move. Got him. Got him. Got him. We got him. Take the front. We have the front. There's one cut. I have the front. Close. One shot. There's stairs. One shot. There's stairs. Jordan's gonna have two. Jordan's gonna have two. Do I have help? Do I have help? No, I'm coming now. I'm coming now. Yo, one's gonna be in your tree on the left side. On the left side. Lava. There he is. Yo, Jamie, I think he's playing. Three street side. Three street guys. I got Kenny. Kenny's hurt. I'm playing their street from where? I'm playing their street from behind two of them. I got one. There's only one on oh, the hill. It's bad, it's bad. It's praise, praise, you gotta stay alive. I'm not at Two on the hill, two on the hill. Shoot this mark, shoot this mark over here, L tree, L tree. Yo, I'm behind I him, I'm behind him, I'm behind him. Mind both of them, one shot. Down, down, down. Nice sweet, Kenny's pushing you, pushing you, Jamie. I have their hill right now. Jamie, they're green tarp. Okay, okay. I have their hill right now. I can cross for you, Mavo. One more, one more, one more. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm going there. Oh, idiot. He's down, he's down, he's down. I got it, I got it. You're so stupid. Oh, he broke it. I'm with you. He's still down in the open, right here in front of the high. There, 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 there. Let's go, baby. Let's go, let's baby. Go, baby. No, no, let's go, no, baby. Don't celebrate. Don't celebrate, let's go. guys. Let's do no, this. we're not celebrating. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's fucking One do this, Let's do this. <laughs> let's fucking do this. One round at a time. As you see, Team Envious is all business right there, John. Team Envious is all business here with a 2-0 lead. Yep, and you're spot on, man. Could that have been more of a perfect round for Envy? The communication is perfect. And Blaze, I mentioned when I tweeted last night, the three chinks in the Envy armor. Number one was they don't know how to lose. Number two was communication. Anytime we jump into a listen in with optics, summons is not really a factor in communication. Mental, of course, a very quiet player as well. It's worked for them early on in Gears 4 because their individual skill obviously makes up for it. But the Envy communication, all five of them, minus summons, maybe a little bit, know how to communicate well. Summons, I meant to say solars, sorry. And I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll see if that's exactly true a little bit later on here. And uh, going into this round, so 
Optic is going to have to push back here. These respawn timers will be at 14 seconds or so. Uh, it's going to come down to this push in the middle. We see, we'll see frag grenades over here on this B hill. And uh, Optic, they're going to have something to play for. They're going to have those retro lancers in place. And uh, those frag grenades are going to be useful. And it's also going to block off any boom shot or drop shots that Envious will place down here. Here we go, Lava. If anyone's gonna do it, it's gonna be him. Kenny is gonna take out one. His former teammate from PR and the Funky Bunch, and mentioned earlier, Kenny and Lava did team back four years ago on that squad here. Franchise gonna get taken out. Some good shots are gonna come in. And so now, Ribs is gonna be dropping back here. Uh, and so he's gonna put himself, he's actually gonna get sandwiched. There it is. In a bad position. Dom the first domination we've seen in a while from Optic. And if it goes through, and yes, it will, Optic to get a little bit of a momentum. Yeah, that was huge. I mean, that was a huge round for Optic Gaming. Not only did they win it, but the way that they won it, completely dominating in Optic style, you can see on, on camera right now, is mental. And now, Optic Gaming, their backs against the wall, as mentioned. Honestly, the ball is in their court. Weapon placement is going down. Let's see who it's gonna be. It is Franchise. Looks like he wants to place a Torque Bow. We'll see how that works out. And let's, uh, let's actually go ahead and jump into a Listen and Blaze with Optic. They're gonna continue to roll here. The fucking aggressors, yo. These kids are fucking pussy. And that was on the screen. All right, I want to hear numbers at the beginning of this round. Listen to each other. Same shit, Lava. Be aggressive. Yeah, same shit. Mm -hmm. oh, let's go. Two mid, two mid, two mid. We have two, we have two. I'm in open, I'm in open. Praise take. No, praise didn't take it. Praise didn't take it. We have middle, open mid. He's on T, he's on T. You didn't take it, you didn't take it. You got lava. He went close, he went close, one too close. I'm looking close. One, one mid box, mid box here. One in close, one in close. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna back up, I'm gonna back up. Yo, let's cross B, let's cross B, let's cross B. Let's cross B, let's cross B. Alright, let's cross B, let's cross B. We left open mid, we left open mid. I'm on chat, I'm on chat. Kill T. Kill T, kill T. Pay attention, you're back here. Open, 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 open. I'm behind open, I'm ripping open, I'm ripping open. I got flanked, I got flanked, yo, I got two on me. I got one, I got one, I got one. I'm gonna get to down. One more B with retro, on T. I'm on shot, I'm on shot. Okay. I'm, I'm down in the hill, I'm down in the hill. Nades are up. Don't he doesn't kill anybody, he doesn't kill anybody. He doesn't kill anybody. I got him, I got him, I got him. Somebody grab nades, somebody grab nades. Somebody grab nades, somebody grab nades. Wait for me, Lava, Lava, wait for me. Praise is, uh... Kenny, grab nades. They're passed up, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. You're good, you're good. They're good, they're 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 good. They're good, Oh, they didn't need it. Oh, right. One in their pocket. One in their pocket. There's two here. There's two here. Grab it in your retro. I'm backing up. Right. Right. I'm right. Right. Yo, close, close, close. Yeah, they're gonna try and angle you out. Four mid. Four mid. They're trying to push across. Don't go down. Don't go down. B. One on me. Watch out. Watch out on me. Watch out on me. Our pocket, lava. Seventy nine percent, bro. Gotta be chilled. Our pocket. They're going up our ramp. The one shot. One shot. Carmine. Our home. Our home. Our home. Our home. They're closing. They're closing. They're closing. They're closing. Open. Guys, I need help on B ASAP. Question to B. They're open. They're open. He's holding that. He's an idiot. Yo, he's gonna flank you guys. I got down. I got down. Clutch. I got down. Clutch. Yo, you gonna get flanked? Yeah, there's three push up our ramp. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's three. There's three on our home. Three on our home. Marcus, 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 Marcus. Marcus, Marcus, Marcus. 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 Uh, Alex, just make sure you watch your back. No, yeah, one's going top tables. Just rotate the home, rotate the home. Just get a home, get a home, home back. Just get a home. They're open, going open, going open. I broke their home, I broke their home. home. Oh, We're three down, we're three down. These one on B, one on B. Because they're on B right now. Uh, how long to we're up? How long to we're up? Now, I'm up now. Gonna break it, you have to stay in, stay in, stay in. Where's two on B right now? I got it, I got the break. We're going up our ramp to our home. They have each other. Use their smokes, use their smokes. And there you have it, a listen in with Optic Gaming. You can hear the frustration from this team and another key point to make Blaze summons again. I, I didn't hear a word. And now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying by any means that he's the weak link at all. He is a monster. He without a doubt deserves a spot on the team. But I look to Ashes to communicate for him. I know Solars is the equivalent on the opposite team, on Envy. And Ryan is constantly behind his shoulder calling out for Solars. It's just, it's a personality thing. You really can't blame him. He has to communicate, he has to step up here. That is one of the weaknesses of Optic Gaming. A lot of people said they were untouchable 
you know, I, I honestly, I think this, I'm just proving right now that that's not the truth. You know what, especially when you add a fifth person to your team, uh, you yeah, know, right. five voices at the same time, you know, it's not uh, it's not even ideal, because sometimes four can be jumbled. But as long as you have a person that's processing information and getting this job done, uh, I think that's the most important thing. I wouldn't say summons communication will be like the you main weak link to this team. I'm gonna drop some knowledge. Anything over than six people, anything over than six people talking at once, the human brain cannot process more than six people talking at once. Six is the sweet spot there. So actually it was Ryan Cleveland, lead multiplayer designer at uh, Coalition that told me that one. So six people with the coach is uh, is the sweet spot, but your spot on I mean, Six people is jumbled. It's a lot of people talking at once. It's tough, but uh, honestly, that's what Envy does well. They do it. Six people communicating at once, and their communication is flawless. You heard it in the listening. Frag grenades coming out. Someone's going to actually pick up that kill. So, uh, Dead Eva here, neutral point in control uh, of Optic Game. is going to come down to a key 1v1 that they're actually going to lose. And uh, the B Hill is being broken. Domination possibly can come in. It depends if Praise and uh, Company can kind of defend this home hill, which is not even their home hill, it's gonna be Optic's home hill, but they're gonna back up a little bit, kind of force Optic out a little bit, uh, you know, build, build a lead. They have a good cushion here, and just uh, kind of work from this point. And now, Blaze, I have to question, the decision to pick foundation, do you think it was the wrong decision here? Uh, it's still early, too early on the tail here, John. You know, like, I, I just know that anything can happen at any moment, so I'm not trying to eat my words. Well said. Well, but politically correct, Blaze, I respect that, my man. And so Good answer there. Explosives, he's gonna get a little aggressive here. He knows that he needs to break this hill, uh, break this hill soon. He doesn't want his team to get too too much of a, a hole here. Uh, so he's gonna be very, very calm. You see his teammates is working in the middle of the map. He's being patient. Now they're gonna finally push shoulders out, get control over this B point. Summons is very, very aggressive here. He's gonna go down, get hit with a reaction shot from Praise. Uh, so, but we're gonna have explosives and lava cap up here. They're gonna have some people to their right as well. Solaris picks up that retro lance, and you know he's gonna be very, very annoying with that. Yep. On board explosive right now, four kills, five downs for this man. Again, playing a little bit of support role, more, more downs than kills. He does have instants in his hand. Solars takes out Kenny and Envy here, down two to one. That's what Optic needed now. And the huge double kill from explosive with the instants on the bottom left of your screen. You know, that definitely coming up clutch there for his team. And uh, we're gonna see his retro get picked up. Domination possibly coming in. And that's just that pressure across map on their home heel. So that's just buying these guys time. That's just building that lead for Optic Gaming. And so uh, they're being very patient. Toy's gonna be aggressive here, uh, knowing that eventually he needs to get a two cap and they're gonna be playing for this home street. Um, we're to Toy now, 13 kills already and only four rounds and he sees one. He's gonna try and hit the cheeky back A, not able to connect to that shot. And it's smart. Notice, guys, we've got players at home. Take notes. A lot of people love the up A. A lot of people think the reaction shot is everything. But a back A is more effective in a lot of situations. That time being the same. Didn't connect there, but heads up play by Toy. An up A could have gotten him killed. No, definitely a good heads up play there by Toy. And uh, making sure he stayed alive there. So, going forward, the two cap optic looking real close here. Uh, coming out with this round, possibly. But the domination that quickly is going to come down to a fight on the B hill. Both these home hills are taken. But across map, you're going to have summons to try to secure his team this victory. And uh, the B hill broken again. But the home hill will get capped seven points away from Optic Gaming taking this round. Yep. Yo, a close one here. Optic Games oh. needs a single hill. It's going to be broken, though, and it's going to be enough. Wow, I thought they were in the hill for three seconds. It didn't look like they were. I mean, apparently they weren't because, oh, I actually, I take that back. You have to actually drain the ring entirely. Yes, it takes three seconds to decap it. Yep, I thought it was, I thought it was three seconds. It looked like uh, that, was, uh, that was decap, but it actually wasn't. And uh, Envy's not able to clutch up there. I thought, I thought we were going to see some crazy things happening, a crazy finish there. And Optic finally showing some life here. Well played by Optic. And, man, I, I'm giving them all my energy right now because I want to see a game three here in the second series. Optic is such a strong team. They bounce back so well. And they have uh, five, honestly, of the top ten players in the game on one team. And so they're going to have to take out those retro lances and put those Botox there. So uh, those retro lances was being an annoyance there for Team Envious. Uh, for Team Envious. So the frag grenades are still in play. The incidents are still in play. Uh, it's going to come down to a crucial fight here. Trying to break this B hill, get control of those frag grenades. Those respawn timers are 20 seconds. They need to value their lives. The question is, who's going to break ice first? And look at that smart decision by Lava to back out there, recognizing the shotgun does not do much damage at all from a long distance. So he's going to capitalize on that. Oh. And summons again. Yeah, he weekly, keeps being huh? the one that's going huge, man. His movement. He's going to pick up a triple kill here. Down member of Toy. Three kills for summons. Huge play. 
Yeah, this is where you this is where you overextend, you know? Have your teammate go cap that. You go work for this home hill, tie this game up 3-3 three three in the first half. Only one member alive, franchise, and he's taking a lot of damage because he's trapped in a sandwich here in this little 1v2 situation. He's not able to break there that, and Optic ties it up 3-3. Three three. Two straight rounds for Optic Gaming, so there you go. The energy must have been transferred because Optic Gaming is bringing it here. And so Optic, you know, you got you got explosives. You know how theatrical you can be and uh, keeping that positivity in his team. This is going to be halftime, folks. These hills will switch. These respawn timers will drop down to 10 seconds here. And uh, so going forward in the second half, I'm pretty sure you're going to see Team Envy is trying to do that same strategy they did in the first half of uh, possibly putting down a heavy weapon, a drop shot or something, a drop shot, a boom shot. They didn't have the opportunity based off the times of, uh, of the weapons that were already on the map. And uh, so we will see maybe if they revert to that first half strategy that they used in the first cycle. Yep. Yeah, well said, Blaze. We talked about it earlier, maybe. Why did Optic... Oh, Toy Soldier with a beautiful update. We said, why did Optic pick this map again? And we said, probably so he can get a more favorable weapon placement. Toy Soldier with good movement. I, the story of this tournament has been slipperiness. Both teams very slippery. Toy Soldier takes out Kenny. Kenny takes out Franchise, his former teammate. Oh, he's going to get taken out there. And he's going to get that help. So this heal will get capped. Two heals will be in control of Optic Gaming. And uh, they're going to be very patient. Uh, their home hill, as you take a look at that overhead map, they only have about two people who may be in a position to push across and get it. But we're going to see if they actually want to do that. They have a, a good, they're in a good position where they can kind of hold off here, you know, formulate a good strategy. They don't have to rush this. You see Lava across at the statue as things are slowing down here. Big and Lava, the story of that player is phenomenal. Cinderella story, he was one of you in the Twitch chat, chat watching every stream. He was a big fan of Nick Merckx back in the day and a big fan of Gears Esports, the Insanes. He didn't know how to, how to shotgun until Gears 3. Started playing in Gears 3 and worked his way up and literally just grinded. It's the mentality of a champion for sure. And he has worked his way to the very top. Such a great story for Lava. So Ribs here, he's trying to he's trying to uh, come up here on his flank and try to break this hill. He's trying to see where is these Optic members set up, and Toy picks up a kill. He goes down. Ribs is full red. Optic can't come out with both these kills. Somehow Ribs slips away, but Summons cleans up that kill. Optic will keep control over this two cap. And uh, you're going to see Solar get out of there. Did not want to die with the rest of his teammates. Wanted to stay alive. Good decision there. Uh, they still have enough time to formulate, to kind of gather together here and just make another push. Yeah. We'll set here. Things are going to slow down again. So finally, we have a chance to breathe here. An escalation doesn't happen often, but I love when it does because these, that means the teams are putting together strategies to execute. On board now, Solars and Rib pushing up. Rib's going to miss a melee here. Summons trying to do his thing. He's somehow still alive. Can't Summons do it? No. He's going to get taken out by Solars. 5v4 situation now for Optic. The question is, is the damage almost already done here? They need to get in this hill and break it, but you see the Optic members that are in a position to cross these guys. The E-Hill is uh, finally going to get decapped, but at 170, going to be down here by a good 40 or so points. Optic can turtle over here on their uh, home hill and win this, and Lava's going to pick up a key kill on Franchise. You know, you probably still at least want even one player to probably even uh, overextend and maybe, you know, put some pressure across the map on another hill just in case things don't go your way on your home hill. Yep, recap is needed. Desperation push is done, but it's going to be Lava. The Cinderella story we just talked about with the double kill right there with his teammates. And Optic Gaming, four straight rounds there. They are bringing this one back. Yeah, and see, this is going to take him out. There. Getting those last two kills. Only eight points, I mean, two points here away from winning. And uh, they're going to get this round as well. And they're going to go up four to three here on Foundation. Yep, and then again, for any new players, new viewers at home that just bought Gears War 4, Many people might be wondering why Smart and Chainsaw are using the same sentence. Usually you don't see chainsaws in competitive gears, but what it does, it's really a vacuum. It will suck in a wall bounce heavy player like Solars, like Toy Soldier. So when you're defending that last hill, when you're going for the domination, put, take your chainsaws out, be smart about it, but uh, it could be a good way to defend that last hill. That's exactly what Lava was doing right there. Team Envious has an opportunity to shake things up here. Uh, the, qu the question is, are they actually gonna do it? Uh, 10 seconds, you know, we'll know exactly what they wanna do, I'm pretty sure. Uh, they debating, you know, because they want to put the heavy weapon down. You know, Optic was struggling with the heavy weapons on the map. Are they just going to block the support weapon spot? And that's wow. exactly what they're going to do. Wow. Go back to uh, their bread and butter that they used here in the first half. Yep, that's the exact same strategy that they called the exact same meta on Foundation in the second half for now at least. Obviously, that can always change with the placement of new weapons. I mean, a boom shot can be placed up top at the E-Hill just as quickly. Now. Here we go. Envious, three rounds down. They need to do something. Let's see what opening strategy they're going to run here. Praise is going to be mid-map. It's going to be a big fight for that drop shot. However, the E-Hill is on the other side of the map. And so drop shot will be acquired here by Toy. And uh, so go. they got it for free, pretty much. 
you're going to see that uh, Optic is just going to opt not to fight it. They didn't want to play a Team Envious game. Look at the so drop now. shot, though. It's a perfect weapon for Mental. He's going to have to come out, and he's going to push into Praise's left triggers. But Mental, his movement is so good, still alive here. Was Toy going to take out the drop shot? Yes, he does. Maybe a bad, bad decision. He jammed his gun here. Now he is in a pickle. Full red. He's going to go down in spawn. No. Toy Soldier is going to get taken out. Yeah, and he had one drop shot left, but he is going to pocket that. And that's going to be three members down from Team Envious. Two are going to be on respawn. Uh, Optic is not going to be knocking on their, on their door just yet. Going to kind of wait for this respawn. You, you see that they got a good setup down here at the bottom of the map on this E hill. Uh, their home hill is watched. They're going to just gather a few points here and just, uh, you know, wait for this next push. Blaze, this has hands down been one of the best championship finals we've ever casted. A big big thank you to everyone tuning in. Hope you guys are enjoying this, man. It has been a show without a doubt. On board right now with Solars here. Four to three Optic Gaming leads on Foundation. Of course, guys, if you're just tuning in, Envious had to beat them twice coming from Loser's Bracket. Defeated them 2-0 pretty decisively early on, but now Optic is countering very well. Foundation was chosen again despite losing Foundation in the first series by Optic. And so here, uh, MB is being very, very patient, which is exactly what they need to do. Uh, they're not out of it yet mathematically where they have to play for the domination. Still can play for the two cap, but they're going to have to move here very, very soon. And it looks like they're going to be eyeing down an E hill. They're definitely not going to be pushing for the home hill across. Uh, you know, they're not going to take a team fight over there. And keep in mind, Blaze, the drop shot is spawning. It's not has spawned already. I guarantee both coaches are calling that out. So that's why Optic gave up that E hill control and started working towards the down low drop shot spawn. Lava with a huge flank right there. What a heads up play by him and it's really the small things the intricacies that he does the lava as the captain of the team like that flanking and oeing at the perfect time you know lava needs to win this 1v1 here he just caused commotion now the domination may come in they're gonna have to decap this hill praises uh gonna try to go in there and stop this situation optic is gonna be about 30 points away from taking this map all members of team image is gonna have to drop back in and try to get this home hill they need three cap here we go all up to the members alive for Team Envious. Ribs is going to take out one. They need the three cap, though. 15 seconds will be it. And you see Toy Soldier, a man on a mission to get to that E-Hill. But guess what? Optic Gaming realizes it. But look what's in his hands, Blaze. He has a drop shot. Watch the team kill Toy Soldier. He's going to kill his teammate. And now in a 1v1. And Toy Soldier's not going to get there on time. You know what? He almost, he tried to connect that drop shot. That would have been huge. But that was just a bad position. And now Optic winning four straight rounds. We're going to see if they can go match point here on round number nine and uh, go up six to three. Envious. That's a lot of talking to their team right there. Envious deciding on uh, what they actually want to put down on this map. And they're going to choose to block these welding and founding spawns. So, so far, if you take a look at it, they wanted to block these two spawns every single time. They wanted to make sure they put a heavy weapon down. And, uh, you know, we haven't seen too much of the, the nades get down here for Lava and them, uh, you know, in the bottom half of the map. But this is their strategy going here against Optic. Now they just need to come out of here and uh, win these initial fights. Of course, yeah, well said, Blaze. That, of course, has to be a hard counter to Optic Gaming. Last time they played on Foundation, Optic placed a sniper for Mental in that spot, ended up winning the next round after that. So Envy's going to block that opportunity. But is that enough? I mean, is that going to turn the tide enough for Envy, who has lost? four straight rounds here against Optic. And so, you know, Optic, they are so good there with those support weapons, and that's why Team Envious want to keep blocking them. Oh, without they know they're good with the Hammer Burst, the Retro Lancer, the Marks, the whole, the whole nine, and they don't even overkill, okay? They even throw those on a few maps, but Team Envious is going to make sure they will stay blocked. Lava is going to make sure he gets in here, he cleans up Toy. Him and his team are starting to build a little bit more momentum. They're going to get this two cap going on, and, uh, but somebody is knocking on their, actually their, their home hill door back there to get in some pressure. Seems like Team Envious opted to do the home push and uh, take that home street over there. So now, trying to control both these hills. Optic Gaming still has control over two of these points, and they actually have somebody in their base, and that's going to be explosives, causing all type of problems. And he has four Team Envious members there, and uh, they're going to have to be forced to disperse now. Yeah, and you, Blaze, good kill, good push by Envy right there, but you said one word, you said momentum, and that is spot on. In the words of my good friend Rogi, a snowball turned into an avalanche here is what Optic Gaming has done here in the Grand Finals. Four straight rounds, and honestly, for those that might be tuning in for the first time, that is very typical in Gears. It's such a momentum-based game, not only because the trash talk, the hype, the emotion, but also the gameplay itself. When you're feeling yourself in Gears, it's just the weirdest feeling, man. It's such a high-skill individual game that there's nothing that can stop you. It's the best feeling in the world, and Optic, they know a thing or two about that feeling. 
And so uh, Franchise, you know, trying to get control over this point. You see the lead, it's about a good 37 point, about to be a 40 point lead here. Uh, if I have to control this two point a little bit longer, they put themselves in a good position, but Team Envious will come in here and break this. Now they're gonna be dropping back. All members are alive for both teams now. Optic Gaming up five to three here. Envious needs to secure a Hold, at least hold the double cap for a while here to win this round. Explosive with some good team fire. He's gonna take out his shotgun here, back out reset, Lancer back out, always knows which weapon to have out of the four that he spawns with, including the smoke grenade. And so, uh, top 10 smoke grenade player in the game. Probably. And then, uh, so now, Optic, they're gonna have to take their time, you know, make this push correct. And they actually, they already made the push. They went for Envious' home Ooh. hill, and Lava is gonna clean up that kill. He's full red, he's gonna let his teammate tap up. He's gonna cap this hill from the edges, and uh, that's gonna be a good play. You know, you don't have to put yourself in jeopardy trying to revive your teammate yeah. right there. Huge play by Optic Gaming. Just as Envy started to get something going with the double cap, Optic Gaming shut it down. Mental with the headshot over ribs. Kenny's gonna go down, now it's gonna neutralize. Four versus four situation, and now, Envy needs to make a decision here. What do they choose to go for, Blaze? Are they away or the home hill? It seems like their resources are split. Both. I, I, both. I and Optic's home hill, Beautiful. their home hill, the drop shot is there. They definitely need to a uh, three cap at this point. Yep, uh, you're spot on. They need to go for both is the answer here. But it's going to be all Optic Gaming explosive. Picks up the kill with the drop shot, takes out his shotgun, and he's screaming now. And there you have it. This is Optic Gaming. This is the hype that they needed. Look at Lava, man. He is staring down the opponent. Six straight rounds, five, not my fault, not six straight, five straight rounds there for Optic Gaming here. Uh, coming back, yeah. coming back. You're right, Praise is gonna give that Lava his moment there. And gosh, man, if you are a fan of esports, you need to be in here right now. El Clasico between Optic Gaming and Team Envious. What a story this has been. Optic, the undisputed titans of Gears of War 4. They have not dropped anything. I mean, they've been winning almost every 2K event, every 250 tournament. And of course, the first major event, which was the Invitational last month, lost to Envious in the first series, who came from the loser's bracket 2-0. And now, Optic Gaming in the second series, everything reset is up 6-3. to three. That is five straight rounds for Optic. And what a story this is. If you are a fan of esports, I know you're enjoying this right now. And I know everyone else would be as well. Lava made it down here before Praise, and Praise is taking too much damage to go down there and contest those frag grenades. And Lava knows it, but he's going to be patient. He's going to go to take out Toy Soldier. He's going to assist his teammates, make a backdrop over here, and uh, pick up those frag grenades. He sees Praise uh, in his sights. He's going to try to help his teammate out here, block some pathways, and uh, he is full ready. He may go down, but Praise may go for a full flank around here. He's gonna, he, he wants to be annoying. Yeah, that's exactly what he's trying to do. Put some pressure on the other team here. E Hill's gonna be capped by Optic, and again, Optic Gaming gets with the early two, early two cap now. Praise full red, and now he's gonna down one. The drop shot comes in by Ribs, and Praise is probably livid right now by that drop shot. He was feeling himself with that 1v2, but Ribs secures the kill. He assumed his, his teammate would be in a tough spot. And so Rib does have two drop shots left, and uh, we're gonna have three Team Envious members dead. Almost, uh, probably four now. I'm pretty sure uh, two just gonna respawn there. And But their home hill is in jeopardy. That's gonna be two dead now. So Optic is good. They're just gonna hold the two caps that they got. Uh, they don't have to be too aggressive. Just be patient. Team Envious has to make a push here. Yeah, and one thing that's interesting about Envious, usually teams have one power weapon player, or a few power weapon players. Of course, that's Jerpy for Team Revenge. I mean, every team has been known for that to be the case for a long time. Prospect, of course, back in the day for MBN. But now, with Envious, anyone picks up at any time. The reason that is, they play arms race 2v2 private matches as a way to play with every single weapon, including secondary weapons, because in Gears Esports, you need to be good with every single weapon now, as opposed to Gears 1 through UE, where it was really just the power weapons that were on the map and no secondary weapons that were in play. Hammer Burst, Marksa, Retro Lancer now in play for the very first time in Gears of War 4. Yeah, they can be all be dropped on the map at any, uh, at any time, you know? But now Lava picking up these kills, showing the disrespect there. 40 point lead here for Optic Gaming. Uh, the D Hill will be decapped. Solar is trying to make something happen. He goes down as well. Envious uh, picking up two of these hills. You know, winning these separate 1v1s across map. Summons goes down over there. They're gonna clean up that kill. And now Team Envious, they're chilling for a little bit, but you know, they're still gonna have to probably play for this domination. Yep, yeah, can't. No, actually, they can win off the two cap. Uh, they can win off the two cap, but they can't get too complacent. They can't turtle up. They gotta still play their game, which is aggressive. Just like Fran said, we get aggressive. That is our keys to key to success here against Optic Gaming, because pound for pound, they think they can match up. Now Explosives is gonna be coming through here. Lava is gonna go down. Uh, team Envious is kind of holding off. They're cutting this lead little by little. Explosives trying to keep his team in. It's gonna be a big kill if he can pull away, but Kenny cleans it up. And that's it is. three members down, and grenades are gonna be picked up by Optic. 
almost looked like the domination was going to come oh. to by Team Envy. Wait a minute, look at Team Envy, the overextension. They're going to be breaking two heels yeah, here. they're going to break two heels, but yeah, a nice overextension is the only thing keeping Envy alive right now. Franchise needs to win this 1v1 against Kenny. Franchise versus Kenny. What a rivalry that is. These two do not like each other based on the history. Franchise dropping Kenny, of course, from Team Envious, and Kenny comes out on top in that 1v1. These drop shots is uh, holding off this domination here, and Toy probably has one more, but he's going to use that shot. It's going to be too, <laughs> Look too Kenny late. Trolling. Domination Look at Kenny at trolling. End. He's feeling himself, and Lava is feeling himself as well. The captain of Optic Gaming, and boys and girls, we have now done it. Optic Gaming wins the first map, and Blaze, you stuck true in your prediction, and it is coming to fruition here so far. Good start for Optic. You know what? I told you, you give these guys time to figure out their issues, figure out their mistakes, and that's exactly what they did. They lost that map 7-4 in the first half. You know, they took their time, took their break. They figured out what went wrong, and they fixed it. And uh, it showed there. So these guys adapt very, very quickly. That's why it's really usually so hard to beat them. So going into the second map, uh, you know, I think it's, it may be impact again. We'll see how this band and pick process went. So. Yeah, we'll get an update, I'm sure, ASAP on what the second map is going to be here. If it's impact again, man, what an interesting decision there. By you know, it'd be, it'd be crazy. You, you play the same two maps, but you just got a completely different outcome. Well, that shows a lot. You know, it's almost like what happened last in the five minutes between both those matches. Yeah, that's true. And man. it is going to be impact. It is going to be impact. We just got the update there. So, wow. Impact map number two. And Blaze, you said it. If we see a different outcome here, I think that says a lot here about what happened in those five minutes, but also about two things. One, momentum. We've always known that in Gears of War, such a momentum heavy game. Uh, you know, it's part of the gameplay. It's part of the fact that you, you really feel yourself when you get warmed up. But two, it's escalation. I mean, yeah. it's the beauty of the game mode. Each map, each time plays differently. It's not static. It's dynamic. It's ever evolving. The meta game is so different depending on how teams decide to place those power weapons. It's really almost like a chess match on steroids, man. <laughs> you know, it's ever changing. You know, you don't. You, you have to be prepared. You have to be very, very versatile and just adapt on the fly here. Yeah, without a doubt. Thank you, my man, Oreo. But you know, hey, this. Uh, you know, going forward here. Team Envious, what are they going to do? You know, it seemed like they had so much fun in that first matchup, but now Optic, they are serious. You know, we said that we very, very, very rarely see this team play after a loss because they don't lose. But now it's good to see how these guys can bounce back after a tough, uh, after a tough loss, a 2 0 loss, uh, where they just got completely demolished in that first half. Blaze, you know, I'm going to be honest with you, man. I'm staying calm, I'm staying composed, but Inner Me right now wants to jump up and down in my seat. I love this game so much, and it is amazing to see how these grand finals have played out. The only better outcome is a game number three. We are jumping in to map two here. Escalation on impact. El Clasico between Envious and Optic Gaming. Can Optic secure themselves yet another championship for the green wall, or will Team Envious be able to maintain their composure? And Blaze, this is a story that has come to fruition time and time again with Team Envious. They choke in situations when they are honestly the clear favorite to win. It happened in the season one finals. It happened at the MLG Columbus Open Tournament at the end of July. Will it happen again here? You know, we're about to find out exactly right now. Map number two impact. So last time we seen these guys play, play this map, which is about probably 20 minutes or so ago, uh, Team Envious came out with that win. I want to say it was seven to three. So one of the things is about impact is that it forces these big team fights over here. And, uh, you know, sometimes Optic are not on the same page when it comes down to the team fights. Yeah, they win those individual battles but you know we're gonna see if our team envious is gonna have those same results once again yeah, and it's interesting how quickly things can change at the end of the first series you were really saying it's envy's game to lose if they could just keep, keep keep their cool keep doing what they're doing everything will be fine but now completely different situation it is optics game to lose here as they have really come out strong here in this second series you know it's gonna uh you know be interesting we see you know, ever see Optic lose back-to-back -back situations like this? Uh, like I said, they are they are very very adaptable, and uh, someone's gonna cap on this hill. Optic is gonna come out with this two cap. NBS being patient, waiting for the team members to respawn. Now those home hills are very open, so we're not gonna see a lot of action over there just uh, on this first half until that hill gets moved over there. So now, Team Envious, no weapons on the map, just waiting for the perfect opportunity for somebody to make a play. And Franchise tried to make a play, but somebody's going to shut him down. Yeah, and again, the, the, the story is summons, man. And honestly, if anyone has really started the snowball for Optic Gaming, that again, my man Rogi turned into an avalanche. It was summons. He's made so many key plays for his team. Alex, the underground player back in Gears 2, really didn't compete in Gears War 3, despite being one of the best players, in my opinion, in the game, especially online, obviously. Did never compete in Gears 3, couldn't travel due to his age. Now, he 
He's 18 years old, and he's competing here. Maybe 19 years old. He's competing here on the main stage. And so Summers is holding his position strong. Team Envy is opting to play for both of those home heels. And so now they're going to push across. They say, hey, out the game, he set up was too strong over there. The domination possibly coming in. And now uh, we're going to see one of these home heels get broken. B will get defended. Two kills go down. Summers goes down to flank here by Toy. And he missed the shot. We hit those. Oh! It almost did it. Taking him out, though. Solar is picking up that kill. Yeah, honestly, man, I was talking to Jay Merck's longtime friend. He said if you miss the first shot when you are flanking and shooting someone in the back, you're going to die 95% of the time. That came to fruition there. Unfortunate for Toy Soldier. You know, it really does, you know, uh, mess with your state of mind and mess with the rest of the shots you shoot afterwards. I don't know. What game is that the case, man? Like, you look at Call of Duty, first shot gets the kill 90% of the time. You look at Halo, first shot will get the kill maybe a good 60 oh, he 70% said, of you, the time, man. missed your first shot. Yeah, if you miss it. That's what I'm saying. But you, he took the first shot still. Oh, but he missed that shot, though. That's why he didn't come out. He started to choke after that. Uh, so mental, picking up two kills there. And uh, I think they just need one heal at this point, but they're playing for domination. Three members of the team Envy is down. They're going to be on respawn. Oh. Those spawns are too far away to get there and contest anything. 15 points away from winning. Praise. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Double kill there. Huge play by Praise. It's not going to really be a mu much. Maybe some swag points for Praise there with a couple back A's. Yeah, just making a statement. Making a statement. Fantasy points, everybody. Whoever drafted Praise. No. One day. One day. Gears Fantasy League. Imagine. Who would you pick first? Uh, I will definitely 100%. I will pick uh, Mental or Dispenser. Oh, Dispenser. Yeah. I mean, that's a decent pick. You know, he racks up support points, racks up downs. He can bang out the shotgun, too. Or Kraz. You know, you got to go for uh, some of those, definitely some of those anchors, anchors who's, who's capping all those heels and also play base. at the same time. That's true. I love it. Someone, developers, if you're listening, make it happen. Gears Fantasy, baby. Here we go. Round number two here, Optic continues to roll. Envy's going to make the same decision to block the secondary weapon, which is interesting. Envy has consciously decided to do this every single map in the series. But I will say, they're playing to counter Optic. They're not playing to their strengths. Franchise loves those secondary weapons. Franchise loves the retro. He likes the sniper as well. I, I don't know if it's the best decision here now that Op and Envy's back sorry, gets the wall. You know what, they, uh, Envy knows how kind of overpowered some of these support weapons are, which is, uh, you know, pretty interesting because we usually didn't see them too much in competitive play, but now they know that, that they are very, very dangerous in Optic's hands. Like you said, that marks to that hammer burst, that retro, uh, they don't want to deal with any of it. So they got to make sure they all block those double spawns. Wow. Look at the bottom left of your screen. Nothing but the shade of blue as Optic Gaming is really starting to pick things up here. Summons picks up a kill. You saw Kenny cut an explosive do the same thing. They're taking turns right now. All up to Toy Soldier. Beautiful wall bounce. One shot by Toy. The movement is going to come in. He's going to hit a couple good shots, but not going to connect there. Kenny takes out Toy. Solars gets oh, a that's kill. That's going to be it right here. That's going to be a definite domination coming in. And look Bob at the hype. Shutting, shutting down everybody. This is what Optic needs, man. I'm telling you, when they are on top of the world, nothing can stop them. They feel hot. They feel hype. They get up. They make sure the other team knows that they are a team of momentum. But again, Blaze. You know, when they were losing, it was it was pretty drastic, the opposite extreme almost. So it's crazy to see the difference between their first series and their second series. Uh, Optic is playing their game here. You know, I don't know what type of conversation they had here uh, in the last five minutes between both these matchups, but they literally played both these maps and got their butts kicked. And so now they uh, they flipped this on Team Envious, and Team Envious is going to have to put some frag grenades down there uh, on top of that B hill. So we'll see if that's going to be what they need to come out here with a win. <laughs> Here we go, round number three. Optic Gaming, the green wall here. Of course, Hector, Hitch, Jay, Diesel all came out to show support at MLG Columbus. A huge shout out to that organization. And a big thank you from the Gears community. On board now with Lava, captain of this squad. Can Optic Gaming do it? Can they come back down two to zero after losing the first two maps and win this in the second series? We will see here, game round number three. Lava, he's getting that wide angle. That wide angle. He jammed his pistol. He's gonna just try to make it out of there. Switch positions with his teammates, and Summons comes in there and saves his back, and uh, picks up that kill. And so, uh, actually, he goes down now. Lava goes down. Finally, Team Envious will get control of these frag grenades that they put down. Mental's gonna come down here pretty late, and uh, maybe not much. He's gonna actually have hope with explosives here too. And uh, Mental gets a kill off the ground. Oh, explosives gets the next kill off the ground. That duo is just putting in work. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Now, Blaze, we've domination. Domination's about... coming in for Optic. Here we go. Let's focus on this round. Franchise is going to get crossed by Explosive. He's going to go down. Surely he does. Damn, they like that now, huh? And there you go. They're showing no remorse here. 
these folks are just having some fun now. No, actually, a heal's gonna be broken, but it's all blue at the bottom left of your screen this again. Is, this is probably gonna be another guaranteed domination. It is. Three straight in a row Solar's here by Optic out. Gaming. Solar's going for the kill there. He's not even going for the hill, and that's how you know that Optic can't be touched. And honestly, you know, Blaze, I want to pose a question. It's really easy to talk about what Optic is doing so well. They're doing everything well right now. But Envy, you see them right now. They also are a team that tilts. They have oh. so much emotion. They argue. What do they need to do to bring this back? You know what, they're gonna have to, you know, get their team communication up here. They're gonna have to, uh, you know, kind of support each other and make some of these uh, these, these risky weapon placements, some of these uh, bold weapon placements. And uh, as we see right there, you know, you're gonna see that drop shot. We're gonna see how Optic is gonna counter against this drop shot in this round. Let's go in for a listen with these guys. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I, I think he's I, I, I think I think he's I think he's I think he's Absolutely love that. You heard at the end there, Lava saying, is this the same team? This man is feeling himself right now, standing up, not even saying a word, just staring down the other team. And Optic is doing so ridiculously well at just controlling the objective, controlling the skills, really slaying, shooting for each other in rotations. You know, he, makes, right there. he makes a valid point. Is it the same team? Honestly. You know, that's what I'm curious about. Is it the same team? Because, uh, you know, they're doing something different here in this second half, and they're playing the same map. They had, they had these guys figured out, man. They had these guys figured out. I guess Optic is just adapting quicker than them. You know, Blaze, I gotta ask you, do you think down 4-0, can Envy bring it back if they do, if they force a game three? Not gonna lie, man, I'm gonna need myself some Duracell batteries to keep things going. 
You know, one of the, the long-lasting, most trusted battery in the game. Now, all jokes aside, big shout out to Duracell, without a doubt, man, showing huge support here in this event. And now, the grand finals, Optic Gaming, four M versus Envious, down 4-0 is Envious. You know I lost a tournament not using Duracell batteries? You gotta be kidding me, man. No, yeah, lost a tournament to get into the pro. You gotta be absolutely killing me, man. Yeah. Lost a tournament, controller died in a 1v1 just because I didn't have Duracell batteries, and that is it's the you whole hard truth. You were using a competitive, that's crazy, honestly, that's crazy. Don't get your batteries from, from the dollar store. <laughs> Weapon's gonna be traded here. It, oh, he's gonna actually smack Kenny in the face first. He said, Kenny, I hate you. And so here, the we're, we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna have, we're gonna have Optic, they're gonna be in a good position. They're gonna be playing for this two cap now. Uh, they know that Team Envious is on the fence, so they don't have to be too aggressive right here. They're waiting for the right times to strike, and every time that they strike, it's a demoralizing strike. Uh, so Team Envious, we're gonna see what they, what can they do? What can they formulate? What can they bring together here to, uh, become that team that we saw 30 minutes ago. Here we go, Toy Soldier full red. Oh my gosh, look at the movement. Get this play movement for Toy, it's not gonna matter. As someone's gonna take him out, the other Mr. Moving himself summons. Air bounce back in gears three, man. That thing was scary. He's probably the only person that can feel the wall bounce delay. Cool down. This may be a real domination here for Team Envious. Yep. And it's actually gonna come through, not able to do much. But I say, Summons took out his Optic Gaming Lancer at the end there, <laughs> just for some swag points. Yeah. I thought that skin is nice, man. And so, uh, I want how many rounds was that? That was four. I want to say they won about four a good plus, seven, eight rounds. Yeah, I think what you're saying, yeah, four plus, I think, six rounds straight on foundation. I mean, geez, Optic really has been dominant. And it's finally, Envious is going to show some life here. And again, we talk about it often. This is a game of momentum. I asked you earlier, what, I, you know, what do you think that Envy needs to do to bring this back? In my opinion, it is a individual. It is Solars, man. Toy Soldier and Solars have been playing so well this entire tournament. But this second series, they've just been a little bit quieter. Of course, not their fault necessarily. You win as a team, you lose as a team. It's so hard to do big things when your team is losing. But they can just make a couple big plays. One or two big 1v3 clutches here. As long as Team Envious is not pointing a finger at each other, you know, yep. see that they, they, uh, they place the torque roll here on oh, the map. But, yo, plays like that, though, that's a, that is a demoralize you. Uh, Toy picks some kill, Ribs gets that torque roll across map. And uh, Solars picks up another kill here. He's full red, but he's going to finally go down. He's going to get some help there. Explosives goes down. Toy picking up a kill as well. So it's going to turn into about a, a 3v3 situation here for both teams. Yep. Movie 2 actually. Uh, and now, Ribs, with that torque roll, can he stay alive? Yep, interesting situation there. Ribs now. Died. Looks like he was on a slow break. No, he was not. No one was on the other team. No one was on the team with him to push that home hill, other way hill. And now, Kenny 11 kills. Land. Oh, look at the after gaming skin. Jeez, sorry. I promise it's not product placement. I just haven't seen him until this weekend myself. So I'm still a little bit amazed here. Optic Gaming is now three rounds away from coming out of here with the MLG Columbus Open first win. And so these guys were in the trenches. It looked bleak for them uh, 30 minutes ago in this first series, but now these guys have fought back here. Summers is making plays. Mitchell's gonna push down here. Take a look at the score. Uh, they're in a good position. They don't have to force anything just yet, but Summons, he's gonna go down. But Mental and Kenny getting a pair of kills there, getting another kill, and so that's gonna put them up in it. And uh, now, they're gonna be very, very aggressive. You see Mental, he wants to push, flank, and kind of catch these guys before they come out of spawn. And Optic Gaming make it their fifth domination here. Yes, they do, and there you go, Optic Gaming. Five rounds now, two more rounds away. And look at Kenny. It's not often that Kenny talks shit. And right now, he's doing exactly that. Oh my goodness, Kenny is so quiet normally. Wow, that says something right there, Blaze. Mental and Kenny Bounce right there. Both picked up two kills apiece. Kenny with 13 kills. And you gotta wonder, Blaze, is Envy regretting replacing this man on this team? Kenny Bounce dropped from Team Envious you just eight months ago. Today, it almost was uh, set in stone that all the people that Team Envious ever dropped, right. Blaze hired you know? You're right. It was you know, but close. you know, Soto couldn't pull it out there, though, but it was definitely a damn good matchup. And uh, now, Team Envious, they have to, you know, get these call-outs right now. I wonder how this team is feeling. And you know, that's a good point, Blaze. Envious, with Envy, it's really more of a business with Optic. It's a, it's a brother, obviously Envy has a brotherhood as well, but definitely a lot of business decisions made on that team. With Optic, it's much, much, definitely a brotherhood here. And now, Mental Explosive, pick up two kills. And here we go, can Optic Gaming do it? Explosive needs to connect here. Big 1v1, Fran's gonna get flanked though. Ribs takes out Summons. Franchise gets taken out, and Optic Gaming is gonna secure themselves a double cap again.
And so here we go. Optic Gaming with the double cap. Uh, that E heal, that neutral point is, uh, is, is going to be up for grabs there. You know, Team Envious has it. Optic could play for the two cap, and we usually see the two cap play for a lot here on his, uh, on his other, on the second half of uh, Impact. And now Sorry, Team Envious, three members, they're going to use that to get this heal decapped and recapped in their favor. Optic still can play very, very fast. We haven't reached triple digits here in points. Uh, they can just be patient here, come over to push, but they're gonna be very, very aggressive here and try to win this 2v2 fight over here. And Lava's gonna save his teammate. And now they can push together and uh, possibly go for the Z heal. Here we go, on board of Lava right now. Pistol's gonna come out, gonna get a good down right there. Franchise takes out Mental right before getting down Lava. Can he clutch up for a double kill here? He's gonna hit the up A, no! It's gonna be Toy Soldier that hits the up A truck shot before Lava can. Now, Envious with a slight window of opportunity here. They can take a fast break for the away hill. Are they gonna do it? Looks like they are at least gonna put some pressure there. Toy's playing a little bit of anchor here though. Checking his home hill, making sure that no one's ever, he has a teammate there. So interesting decision there, Blaze. Three dead for Optic. Envy doesn't go for the triple cap. Any reason, any thoughts on that? You know what, it's not the time to go for the triple cap, especially when you, you have a good lead. You know, you can force Optic to make that play, in, play on you. Uh, Team Envious has shown that they can, you know, they can bang with these guys. They can prevent Optic from uh, constantly trip capping. Well, at least we saw that Team Envious in the first half. Yeah, I'm about to say, yeah, maybe they could about 30 minutes ago, but that has not been the case here the last 20 minutes in this series here so far. Now, this is what you do. When you don't go for that triple cap, you give Optic Gaming the opportunity to punish you. That's what they do so well. Look at this, they're gonna try and get the cap here. Not able to do so, Lava's committing to this cap though. No, they definitely should. You know, you got three members there. Explosives, explosives no. run through here. He's gonna try to get behind him and he's oh. just gonna embarrass. So that's just, that's just dirty. Look at this movement oh. from Explosive. Oh, he's having fun now. That's just dirty. They're gonna get this double cap, uh, sing single cap. You know, the domination look like it's gonna come in, but you're gonna see Praise run away unless Praise wants to turn around and possibly go for the double. Uh, they are gonna be down. They do need a double cap here in order to possibly come out with this win. Team Envious, they can kind of turtle back here and only hold one heal. I don't think it's on the fences. Here we go, two kills picked up for Team Envious though. Look at the score at the top left of your screen, 190 for Team Envious. Here we, this might be what Envious needs to bring this one back. Praise takes out Explosive. Kenny holding his home hill now. He is the last member alive for Optic. He's gonna have some people to fight against here. Praise actually, Lava's gonna spawn now. He's gonna get flanked though. Not sure if he's aware, but uh, it's gonna be an Envy round though. Yeah, that's, nobody's gonna be in position Ooh. to take him out. Nice kill there by Kenny, just for fun. There you go, Envy wins another one. Five to two now for Team Envious. And now weapon decision. Actually, yep, yeah, weapon decision for Optic. We are now in the second half. Keep in mind, guys, we talked about it. First series, haven't touched on it too much. Escalation, the competitive game mode in Gears of War 4 Esports. It is a domination style game mode. First to 210 points or the first person to triple cap will win a round. The first to seven rounds will win the game. After every round, you get to place a weapon that is the losing team wherever you want at the predetermined locations on the map. It is Kenny Bounce that places the retro and blaze man you've had a chance to cast this game mode for a month and a half now you recently moved to new york to work for mlg your thoughts here on this game mode and on this series you know what this series is a, is a good series you know you gotta love the game mode just you know things like this you know you see envious constantly blocking those uh those two spawns the spawns over there at parking and hospital uh just for this exact same reason here that uh they didn't want Optic placing any, any of these support weapons, any of these retro lances, and that's exactly what they did. So we're gonna see how uh, Optic, uh, you know, why is, so, why is Envy is so scareful of them? Why, why are they so fearful of uh, both of those weapons? And I'm pretty sure Optic is about to put those uh, retro lances to use. Yep, that's for sure. Optic, of course, loves the secondary weapons. Mental in particular loves to use them. So we're gonna get some good lancer fire there. Not gonna be enough for it down though. On board of Solars now, <clears throat> now explosive. So right here, look at that. This double cap is gonna be Turret. this double cap is gonna be in the favor of Optic Gaming. Uh, now they need to be patient here. Some is picking up the kills. I'm pretty sure, as always, you see Optic Gaming chain together a few kills here. They're definitely gonna be very, very aggressive. It's 14 second respawns, but uh, on a map like this where those spawns are so far away from the home hills, you uh, you see those three caps. Oh, or with the angle right there. Yeah, there you go. Take notes, folks. Full red is explosive. He's doing so much right now. The fact that he's been alive for so long and he's in a key area of the map that is under a lot of pressure. Well played by Explosive. Solar's gonna take out Lava and look at the lead difference right now. 86 to 60 for Optic Gaming. They are two rounds away from securing the green wall. Another championship. Explosive is gonna help make that dream come true. Taking out Solar's, his former teammate. Someone that he's not very fond of. That's gonna be two members down. So when you see those two members down, Optic is gonna be pushing. They're gonna start to... Uh, 
knock on team in his door. They're going to get themselves in a good position here to try to catch these guys coming off respawn. Toy is out of position, and uh, he may flank explosives here. They may have to make this call out. They are going to get the they are going to get the call out. He is going to go down, and so now they can kind of push for this home hill. Solar has to defend it. You have three team envious members there, and uh, I think choosing not to overextend, and I can't blame them. Uh, you know, they have a, they have a good lead. Yeah, exactly. Well said. Not at the point where Envy needs a three cap yet. They can hold a two cap and win mathematically, but let's see how they decide to play this. On board of Soars right now, franchise the shot caller of this team, putting, putting together something, I'm sure of it. He's on the T right now in the middle of the map. Soars on the table. And, and so Solars, he has his retro lancer, Franchises explosives, dead. picking up kills across map. He's defending his home hill. Him and Toy, you see how he was slowed down right there. That's mental tagging with that retro lancer. Yep. That stopping power is ridiculous. That's so true. And now, I gotta wonder, Envious. One thing I talked about before was the armor of Optic Gears. It is proving to be impenetrable right now as the three chinks that I mentioned. I mentioned number one being they don't know how to lose. I mentioned number two being communication. Number three was about practice. Well, on the flip side, Envious, they had a chance to boot camp before this tournament, but I know there are a couple mishaps. Solars missed his flight. They overslept and missed a few practices. You got to wonder if that's a difference here in this one. Of course, they put a ton of effort into this. $300,000 on the line, though. So you cannot take away from what Envious has accomplished, coming back from the loser's bracket, beating Bot Empire after a great series, and now up against Optic Gaming. It is match point here for Optic. I haven't asked you guys in a while. You guys are still hanging out out there in the crowd. If you want Optic Gears to lock this one up and secure another championship, let me hear it for the green wall right now. I'm sure the chat is making sure that everyone in the world knows right now that Optic Gaming is one round away from another championship here at MLG Columbus, the inaugural Pro Circuit event, $300,000 total prize pool, a nice 120K for Optic Gaming if they can win this one. The drop shot is gonna get placed down here at the dead center of the map. So it's gonna come down to a good team fight here. It's 16, uh, 16 second response now. Solars, can he pick up a kill? We're gonna have Toy, Praise both picking up a kill. Lava did get the drop shot, so that drop shot's gonna be on the ground here. And now Team Envious is gonna get three kills. And now can they, four kills down. Can they capitalize on this and go for the three cap? Mental got a kill before he went down. That's this a free cap. That's gonna be a it. domination. That's gonna be a domination for Team Envious. So they must have heard me. Oh wait, I take that back. Kenny Bounce and Lava looking to make something happen. Solars takes out one. Lava is gonna get the break here. Oh no, he's not actually not able to get there on time. So Envious wins a round here. Now four rounds to win. That's five rounds straight that Team Envious needs to force a game three. Like I did say earlier, if that happens, Blaze, man, it's been a long series. Those Duracell batteries will be needed. Jeez, it's been a great one here so far. So they got him. If they break. Uh, I think one of these rounds, you know, uh, as soon as as soon as uh, Optic Gaming actually breaks ice on these guys, they're gonna choose to block something. They like exactly what's on the map. That drop shot uh, was somewhat effective. Uh, eight, going into 18 second response, as soon as Optic Gaming wins the first initial fight, it could be all over for Team Envious. So they have to play perfect here. Look at the scoreboard. Kenny B, 15 kills, explosive 15 kills. So that was the man that I challenged to step up. The shot caller for Optic Gaming. It was Gilbert. It was explosive, and he has definitely come to the table with 15 kills here in map two, a very good map one on foundation as well. The stopping power of that retro lancer, that damage, you've seen to put Lava in a bad situation. Praise with the with the drop shot, was able to pick it up there. The retro lancer, the next drop shot, he's gonna get a double kill, and Team Envious, they're gonna have summons down, three down, once again, once again, they can play the exact same way they did exactly. the last round and push in here and possibly get this double cap of mental. Oh, mental. If he would've had his shotty out right there. But he takes out his shotgun, somehow still alive, here. Kenny's gonna go down. Mental just needs to stay alive long enough. He has a Retro Lancer. That thing does so much damage, but he's gonna opt for the shotgun instead. And wow, I think it was Praise missing, I'm not sure who it was, missing that one shot on Mental while he had his Lancer out was crucial. That served to be Solars. the difference here. It was Solars, okay. That was the last drop shot being shot, and Team Avis is gonna opt to back out of here. They know that they lost the opportunity. They're gonna have to slay after gaming one more time before they start to play for the domination. Blaze, it's round number 10 here, so realize that this is 18, or sorry, 16 seconds for a respawn. It's pretty long, so all Optic needs is one clean sweep, one ace. There, that's one. Can they get four more kills to secure a domination here? On board with Explosive, he's gonna hit some great, great Lancer fire. Using that Optic Gaming Lancer, and I think it's so nice. I can't say it enough. 
And so now, Explosive is going to back up here. You know, his team is only down by a few points. They're still in a good position. They just need to group up, pick up a few kills. The NB Domination possibly coming in here. But Optic has something to say about it. They're going to get the double kill. Oh, Kenny boy. The triple kill. The jump coming oh, out. Oh, no. They're going to get this one. That's four down here. The last remaining member can franchise do exactly what Mental just did to them. Can he stay alive long enough? They have E, I know they have the, only the FL. Using his smoke to bath some time is going to be up to Summers. Can Summers win this? He's going to wait for Mental. He's going to wait for his teammates to get here. He goes down. He's capping that in the hill. And uh, no more members of Optic are going to come and help. It's interestingly enough, oh, I'm not sure if you guys saw on the top left of your screen, E Hill was the only hill captured for Optic. They opted to go back to their home hill, only sending one person that was summons to fight franchise for the away hill. So they didn't go for the three cap. They did not step on the throat of, of, of Envy right there. I wonder if that was the best decision. As Envy does have the lead, they're going to go for a quick cap right here. And there you go, Solar's going to take out Kenny. Explosive takes out Toy Soldier. Four versus four here. Can Envy stay alive? Explosive says, hell no. He takes out Ribs. Lava, 12 kills to his name right now. He's going to stay alive as well. Repping the green Lancer. Keep in mind, that is not the optic, or sorry, green shotgun. That's not the optic shotgun. There's only an optic Lancer right now. That's just a skin that they love to use. Drop no. shot in his hands. The drop shot has been played, and, and you know, I don't know who the, uh, the, the envious member was that kind of ran away from that. They had to defend that, so two more drop shots in a hand of Lava. Retro Lance is going to pick up here by Toy. Uh, you know, what are they going to do? Lava needs to put these things to use here. It is. Could be a team kill, though. It is going to be a team kill on Mental, but he picked up Franchise in the meantime. Optic Gaming, look at the score right now. And Kenny picks up a kill. I think this might be it. They were down 20 points. The two cap is all that they need. It is all up to Toy Soldier Jamie. Can he do it? Retro Lancer out. The smoke grenade goes out. And now Optic Gaming takes the lead. The E Hill is broken though. Envy's gonna take the heal. Toy Soldier dies. And now Kenny Bounce is on the offensive, but it is Solar's there by himself. All they need is a break. If they get a break, they win. Oh my goodness, 200 apiece here. Oh, Ribs oh. and Solar's pick up kills. Lava takes out Solar's. And now it is up to Lava. He's gonna get taken out. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be Optic That's Gaming it. win. They hold one. Optic Gaming is your MLG Columbus champion in a nail biter of a last round. Can you believe it, Blaze? They were down 2-0 in the first series, and they reverse swept 2-0 straight. Congratulations to Optic Gaming in what was a historic inaugural Gears of War Pro Circuit event. The fact that they played the same maps over again. <laughs> you know, just they dominated them in the first half. They played the same maps over again, and Optic adopted. They, they uh, adapted so fast right there, and uh, came back, and you just saw that dominating performance right there. You know, like you say, you gotta ask yourself, what happened to Team Envious in those five, ten minutes that they were gone after the first half? Yeah, you know, that's a great question, man. I, I still can't believe it. I'm in shock. I mean, what a championship series. The fact that Optic Gaming had the confidence to do what they just did, but now for the first time in the Gears of War Pro Circuit. Congratulations to Summons and Optic Gaming, your MLG Columbus 300K prize pool champions, and they will take home their first major championship for the Green Wall. No, it definitely is, you know, and you know what? Let's send it on over to Farouk to talk to the champions themselves. Congratulations to the Optic Gaming crew for winning the Gears Pro Circuit Championship. I'm gonna start over here with you, Lava, now. You guys completely flipped the script right there. You chose the same maps, and the scores were exactly the same, but opposite. They won 7373 Foundation Impact, and then you guys won 7373 Foundation Impact. What was the mindset behind picking the exact same maps? Uh, honestly, the mindset behind picking the same maps, I wasn't really here for. Uh, like, I was really, like, like, I'm gonna put it on myself. Like, I was out of it the first the first series. Like, I was negative vibes, I was kind of emo. And, you know, uh, like, I just, we had a team talk, we huddled up after that, and we brought it back next series. And it really just showed. It's a really, emotion, it's a really emotional win for me, too. Because after that, like, you know, like, I don't know. It's, it's good to come back from that. Like, feeling like I let the team down, and then come back and win. Obviously, go, obviously good games to Envy, always, like. The trash talk's always just in-game, like they're all good friends and everything. Indeed, and de definitely emotional time for you, but Kenny, gotta come to you, man. After every loss, every other, after every round loss, I saw you standing up and still giving dap to your squad. What was that about? It's about keeping uh, the positivity going and just everyone's head in the game and, and making sure that, like, yeah, we lost that round, but there's still next round to keep going. Now, how were you guys able to just impose your will on that second match against envious 
But it's all about composure. I mean, we went to the, um, you know, mid huddle up after the first series, really pretty bad series, and we just talk about it. <laughs> Keep composure, that's about it. All right, I'm gonna come over here to expose it real quick. You guys show way more emotion than you did at any time in this tournament. Was it the, the, the atmosphere, the money on the line, the number one ranking, the fact that it was envious, what was it? It was honestly everything. The fact that we lost the first series, the way we lost it, we felt that we shouldn't have. We felt that we defeated ourselves, and you know, that's pretty much what happened. Uh, the second series, we pretty much just went outside, talked about it, and uh, you know, regained. All right, now what is the future hold? I'm coming right to the coach. What is the future hold for Optic Gaming? Uh, just going to London and taking another win home. And coming to you, Mental, for the last one. You guys want a lot of guap right there, a lot of cash money. You got any plans for that money? Yeah, I'm gonna save it up like a smart man, that's all. I really got a bathroom. There you go. Smart man, smart team. Let's give it up one more time for your Gears Pro Circuit champions, Optic Gaming!